All right, folks, so we made it to Louisiana. We spent the night, a wonderful night actually, in the parking lot or the driveway of my mom and dad's. This is our, our house for the, uh, the adventure here in Louisiana. We're about to go get some crawfish. We're about to have just a good time, play a little golf, fly some drones around. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you for watching. Let's go eat some crawfish or some Cajun food. I've been looking forward forward to it for a long time. See you on a minute. Yeah. Show them the athlete you are. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Mama's an athlete. <laughs> yeah. Your turn, JT. That's a pie pie punch. <laughs> what do you think about that, Mama? I see. What do I think about it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard. I think it's wonderful to be out here in the sunshine with the big monster ball. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Yeah. All right, let's go eat some steamboat bills. It's gonna be good. First Cajun food in Louisiana. It's gonna be good. Let's do it. Ooh wee! I wish you could smell this video. Ooh, check that out. The boudin ball. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Take tea. Mm hmm That's right. Smell it. Oh, that's good. It's sausage and rice. Mm -hmm. Sausage and rice with lots of that. <laughs> JT, what do you got there? Well, what is that? Got a mouthful. Look at it. Mouthful of popcorn shrimp. <laughs> look at all that. Oh my! Look at there. We got a stuffed potato. What is that stuff with? Uh, shrimp and uh, a toupee. Yeah. We got a boring salad here. Well, and I got have my stuffed ooh, shrimp. A toupee on top of a catfish. Let's eat it up. Oh, Mom was good, but they got a long way to go. What are you laughing at over there? Mm -hmm. Maybe next time we'll get one of those. Thank y'all. Hey, buddy. See you next time. That was some good food. Leave Steamboat Bills, you head right over there. Get you a snow cone, best snow cones in the world, right there. It's wild. A little bitty place called Deer Dur. See you over there. She's in the world, Beth. Um, I don't know what they do, but it is good. It is good. Check out the front. All the different flavors and cool. Uh, look at every flavor. Look at every flavor in the world. I got Spider-Man flavor, SpongeBob, Superman, Tinkerbell, Shrek, Mario, Hulk, Batman. What? I want Mario. <laughs> I want a Mario? Let's see what that's about. There, what is that? Um, a snow cone. That's a Mario. It's got a Mario. Oh. Blue and red. Mine's a tiger's blood. What you got, Mama? Um, cream, vanilla with cream. Is it good? Ooh, that looks good. Tiger's blood. Yeah, that's like that's like that. What did you got to? Yeah. Tiger's blood. Tiger's blood. Oh, oh, what do you think about that? Go! Ooh, that's gonna be a long one. Alright, one of 
one of the best things to do on an adventure is go cook some s'mores. Yeah. Check it out. Is that good, buddy? Yes. Right. There's our s'mores expert. Let's watch the next one being put together. Good job, Mama. <laughs> Be in the front or the backyard. Uh -huh. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> They're gonna make it. <laughs> Are you gonna lose it? Right here. <laughs> Put it on top. You glue that down. Slide it out. And the expert hits it again. Yeah. This is empty, but Good job. Good job. Morning, everybody. It's time to go play a little golf. You ready, JT, to go play some golf? Yes. Well, the sun's in your eyes, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do it. Get a camera shot of that. <laughs> I hope. Oh, is that fun? Yes. All right. What do they right. say? A blind hog can find an acre every now and then. That's it. Let's go see if we find some fish. We came to the golf course to look at the fish. Look at that big one took off. Oh, it's a big fish. It just took off. All right, get you here.
Look at that big old turtle tail there. That's a crawfish mound. Crawfish built that. Look at that. They're everywhere. Let's go find some more. Come on. No, we're playing golf. Look at that one. Another one. Another one. I don't got to run over by a golf cart. They're everywhere. Crawfish man. Look at that one. Let's go, let's go get down inside of that one. That one's big. Crawfish man. I only see him in Louisiana. What do you think about that? Oh. Yeah. What was that for? What do you think about golf, JT? Good! <laughs> I like this big golf cart too, don't you? Yes! We came out here to ride the golf cart and search for balls. We've been looking for a lot of balls. They were off the trees. Wow, all the trees are gone. This used to be full of trees. The hurricane tore it up. Yeah, this hole had trees all down through there. Did it get rid of the one we wanted? And it's left the one we wanted to get rid of, right in the middle of the oh, fairway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're still standing. All the ones that, that, that were in the middle, yeah, they didn't bother them a bit. <laughs> Is this going to get coiled in a ball? Our balls right in the fairway, and we can't find our balls in the fairway. <laughs> oh, it's funny. See where your club is? Look, look down at the ball. Okay, you gonna bring your club back? No, keep your feet still now. Like that. Then we're gonna go right through the ball. Ready? Go. Look at there, good straight shot. <laughs> there you go. All right. Not bad. Do it again. There you go. All right, Pop, your turn. Pressure on. Okay, step over here. Oh, that's good. Go, 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 go. Boom! And it's in the it. hole. Yeah! Good job, good job. What do you think about that, JT? Cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to time lapse the rest of this thing. Let's have some fun. Oh, good line. Good line. Tell me what you ready to go. Tell me what you ready to go. I'll be, I'll be here waiting. Yeah. That's how you do it, Papa. Knocked it in from 30 feet out. That was awesome. What do you think about that? Awesome. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Right in the fairway. Looking good. That's how you do it. That's how the pros do it anyway. Somebody's tired. What's inside there? Okay, you got the fly? I think you got a fly in there. Let me see if there's a fly. <laughs>
All right, we're outside doing a little barbecue and I want you to check it out. Look at all that smoke. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Got some pork chops, some chicken thighs. Yes, it's really good. Oh yeah, look at all that. Good looking meat. There's charcoal down there. You could cook for another half a day on all that charcoal. What are you doing? You want some of that? Some of that? <laughs> the chow down big time. Look at all that. Then you can kill it on that. See you in a minute. Dad put the Cracker Barrel to shame. Look at all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chicken thigh, pork. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Sorry. Well, I must say, uh -oh. Come here. Uh, even the whole set of Cracker Come Barrels. Uh, Get some. Items are hard to eat. Yeah. So we just finished all that good food. JT. He really liked it. <laughs> he is out. Nap time. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Where are we headed? We're heading to fishing. We're going to go catch us a catfish. And what are you standing around? What are all, all this? Tomatoes. Man, Papa is a farmer. He can grow all types of cool looking tomatoes. Look at that one. Ooh wee. Let's go fishing. Yeah. Off we go. Time to go get some fish. Hey. Look at look here, bud. Look at here. Oh my. We're early, so it don't be too hot. So welcome to Sunrise Catfish Farm. Best catfishing in the world. Let's get up here and figure this stuff out. Sunrise catfish. I catch my fish at sunrise, open year round. They'll clean them for you and everything. What do you think, JT? Cold, Cold huh? That's a big deal. There's their bot bait shop. It's self serve. You come in here, you put your money in here. Here's the prices. You go in there and get what you need to get. <laughs> Look at that. You can buy shrimp here and eat them. Self serve. Let's check it out. All right. All right. So we got our rig going. We got a treble hook, little weight on the bottom. Got some shrimp for the bait. What do you think about those shrimp, JT? Well, those are crawfish for bait. <laughs> All right. That's some crawfish for bait. We could take this home and cook them, eat them. <laughs> crawfish. We're in Louisiana. I guess these catfish like crawfish. <laughs> oh, let's have a little fun. This is going to be good. <laughs> Look at this big old machine right there. It turns water up. Let the fish have some oxygen in the water. It's pretty cool. Somebody over there catching some fish too.
there's our bait right there for a little crawfish <laughs> yeah all right go get us one Ooh. Nice throw. How big a catfish you want to get, JT? Right, right. A catfish as big as me. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be a big one. That pond didn't work out. We've been there for about five minutes. Let's go over to this pond. <laughs> he can move spots real easily. All right, we're over here on our new spot. We're going to get this big old catfish over here. See what happens. Let's get ready. Reel it, reel it, JT. Get it, JT. Get it, buddy. Get it. Pick it up. Pick it up high. Pick it up high. I got something. Pick it up high, big boy. Pick that the, the top of it high. Pick it up. Put, put your hand up higher. Put it in your belly. Put your hand up higher. Roll him. Go, reel it up. Yeah, boy. Come on. Roll him. Here, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on, man. Let me have it. Let me have it. Oh, we thought we had a big one. <laughs> ah, shoot. Got stuck. Let me go side to side. Maybe it'll come loose if I go side to side with it. Let it go of it, let go of it. Nothing on it. Let it leave it there. Oh, we have one. Do we have Just give it, give it a little bit more time and maybe the fish will find it again. Yeah, that, that the, the string or the fishing string just drew itself out. You, just, you didn't see it? those buzzards up there. There must be 50 of them. My goodness. Here. There you go. Oh, we got us one. There you go. Keep going. Pull it, pull it. It's going way over there. Oh, did it come off? Man, you had one for real that time. Hold your rod up. Roll him. Roll him. Hold your rod up. Put your, put your hand up here. Put your other hand up here. No, there you go. Roll it. Get that boy. Out of boy. Get it. Out of Get boy. it. Yeah. Look at that. That's so much. Keep on. All right, working, working. All right. Working. Hold up. Working. He's about to come up. Oh, <laughs> come on, come on. All right, Daddy, grab the line. Oh, look at that. He caught a fish. High five. Oh, boy, high five. Yeah. All right, hang on. We're going to pick him up. Hang on. Go get him. Where are you going? <laughs> We don't need a color yet. Let's go no, get the hook no, off. No, 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 Leave the cooler there. <laughs> there we go. Stand right there. Yeah, hang on. Hang That's on. a good one, too. <laughs> That's eating size. Uh -huh. <laughs> we caught our first catfish. Oh. <laughs> he slapped me. <laughs> he slapped he you. Slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> That Look at that. It's not holding up worth a hoop. The lines are breaking left and right. That's supposed to be a decent line. <laughs> Let me get my hand. I got it. That's a new What do you think about him, JT? Watch him feed him. What do you think about that? That's a nice catfish. <laughs> yeah. Look at that white ooh, billy. Ooh. That's a white catfish. Our first one, and you caught him. Yeah. Yes, sir. First one. Yes, sir. Oh, taking that hook, that double hook out. What do you think about that? Oh, that's cool. Hold him up there. Hold him up. Okay, show him those pins now. Don't let him <laughs> spin him. Now you watch now. Look. All right. 
right there. That'll jab you. That'll jab you right there. And behind Danny's head, right there. Those are the big three ones. See those things? I'm, in fact, I'm going to do what Dan does. That is... <laughs> that is an eating size. <laughs> yes, sir. All it right. Sure Good job, buddy. Yes, what do you think about that, JJ? Yes. Woohoo! So Take another one. Cool. Yeah. What do you want to say? You better go catfishing here in Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now hold this rod up. Now reel down to it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Now reel down to it. Reel down to it. Now pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Now reel. Reel. Reel, buddy. Reel that thing. Reel it. R run over there to it. Run over there to it. Reel. Run over there to it. Reel, real fast. Reel, 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 reel. It's going to run away from you. Reel it. Reel it. There you go. Go, buddy. Pick it up. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Work it. Get it. Get it. It's coming right here in front of me. Come on. Now lower down and reel real fast. Now pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh. Whoa. Hold it. Hold it. That's catfish. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Help him, Pop. You got it. You can help him. We got another catfish. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Here we go. Sure do. Oh. Whoa. Man, I'm glad I had my glasses on. I'd hit dead center. Man, man, man. Whoa, man, man, man. I mean, that hit dead center. I saw it hit. Man. Woo, JT, that, that was, was a fight right there. Yeah. <laughs> that. Woo. Guess you start that rig over. Golly. That's the one that broke the line off earlier. <laughs> that was huge. That's the one that broke the line off earlier. Heavy catfish we got there. That's a whole bunch. Oh. All right, y'all have to enjoy the cleaning weigh-in station here. Let's watch them do this. We're coming out on this farm right here. Is that all you wanted? I don't know. We wanted some more fish. <laughs> well, go try, go try one of these ponds. Oh, I mean, if y'all want to, he's he, he burnt out. Now. Nine dollars and ten cents. He's burnt out now. Take it. Catfish steaks for you. Faster than I could have done it. Woohoo! The whole thing. Carry it on out. Good job, good job. That was fast. Yeah, it was. Cook him up now. Let's cook him up, JT. Yeah. All right. And make a volcano. And make a volcano. We're going to cook up a catfish and make a volcano. <laughs> She's been wanting to see a, a volcano for a long time. So we just got home from fishing. You know what you do after you make it. You're going fishing. You make yourself a volcano. Let's see what happens. Got some baking soda and some vinegar. Volcano time. All right, are you ready? Yes. All right, now you 
Here's what I want you to do. Okay? We've already got a little bit of dirt here. Now hold on. We're gonna set this. We're gonna set this right here in the dirt. Now there. Take this. Careful with it. Alright now. I'm gonna move over here so it doesn't blow up on me. Okay. Or didn't want you lean down there close to that and pour it in and pour it in real fast real fast real fast tip it over pour it pour it quickly whoa look at that <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, that volcano cool. oh man <laughs> little volcano i all love it blew up Boom, it's like that. <laughs> not all of it came out. No, not all of it always comes out. That was it pretty did, cool it, though, huh? It made a volcano, didn't it? Yep. Sure did. <laughs> Time to get some cooking going on. Yeah. <laughs> One for them, two for them. <laughs> and one for me. <laughs> Got today on the bottom, some place called the other day, on the top, this came out of the pond. That came out of the lake. Yep. Oh yeah. Let's cook them up. Cook it up in some Louisiana fish fry. Yeah, look at that. It's gonna be good. Got to clean them up a little bit. Ooh, we can I'm gonna the fish now. What we're gonna do it. We're gonna put it in the Ziploc bag. That makes it a lot easier, a lot cleaner. You don't get it everywhere. And using some Walmart bag, that's gonna come apart on there and got holes in it. So we're gonna ease that open. We're gonna put this on top of the, the sink. And we're gonna dump that right there in it. Ooh. Now we're ready. Make sure it's at the right temperature. It can get real hot. You want it about 350. But when you first put it in there, that's going to be a lot hotter. And then when you put your fish in there, it's going to cool down a little bit. So your first fish, you might want to start it out at a little bit less than 350, maybe 325. But you've got to check. I'm I'm gonna do it on the medium. I'm gonna check that. Now I'm gonna get one of the handy tools. You use it just for meat. You turn it on. It's gonna tell you what your temperature is. You stick it in oil, you stick it in meat, anything else, it's gonna immediately give you the temperature of that as it goes up. We only at about 130 right now, so we got a ways to go. I want them to bundle up. Start stirring a little bit. So you can drop a few more in there. Was it a bit close? Now you can shake it up. You ain't gonna lose none of your mix. You ain't gonna spill it all over mama's counter and get a bump on your head for doing so. Shake them off a little bit, lay them up there. 
Ooh, wait. Sure. Now we're getting close. We're looking for about 325, 350. Mm, 325 or so. It's getting up there. If we decide we will do. What do you think about I that? I can't see it. I can't see it. Okay, now I see it. Put it down. Put me down. Got a lot more to cook over there. A lot more to go. Golden brown is it? Yeah. Cornbread out of the oven. No. Mm. Good looking cornbread. I saw some golden brown fish. Black Here we go. Beans. Here we go. What we got? Oh my. That look about right. That's what it looks good to me. Looks pretty good. That's golden brown. Golden brown. I gotta get some more going. Ready to get some more going? Yeah. Here we go. We got a lot more to cook. That whole bowl. <laughs> and a little bit. And a little bit. What do you think about all this? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, sometimes everybody needs a, needs a good mom's cooking. Yeah. Sometimes they need to have somebody that can cook for them. That's mine. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you got to get fried up. <laughs> Two little boys and their dog going fishing. And there's a dog there too, look. <laughs> What do you think? Good! <laughs> well, that's the dough. Oh, that's all the fish in the bio. Bye, you not see this one. Okay. All right, JT. Oh, 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 hot! Try it. It's hot, buddy. It's hot. It's hot. Get your water ready. Hot. <laughs> Here. Oh, so Save it's good. Oh, that's good. Break out piece. Eat a little bit. Hey, we got a fresh one. It's super hot. Yeah. I gotta eat the rest of it. Maybe go a little bit more, but it's done. That is really good. I think this one is the best. It's right out of grease. Yeah. Woo. Really good and hot. <laughs> oh yeah. We're about to glove it down. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Test it. And I bet it's gonna be some good. Mm. It's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> you caught it? You cooked it? Now you're eating it. What do you think? It's good. Very good. That makes me very happy that you're liking that. Thank you for cooking, Baba. It's good stuff.
Ooh, wait. Yeah. No. Anybody want more? Gotta be nice and warm. All right, let's see Mama try to catfish. Hey, T, this you is your, your catfish. T caught it, Mama's gonna eat it. How you think? Tastes like catfish. <laughs> Mama, she's kind of picky. Mama likes the catfish, JT. Yeah. All right, meal time is over. This boy came in here. He is sleeping. Yes, he is. Look at his feet. Enjoy your nap, buddy. All right, welcome to another adventure. So I was hanging out with my son. He's got a tick in the back of his head. We're gonna get it out. So we've got a cotton ball with a bunch of soap. They say it'll just come out on its own. We'll find out. Come a little closer to me, buddy. There you go. Keep on backing up. Let me show you the tick in there. There it is. You see him? There we go. Got the soap on him. All right. One, two. Hold him on there now. Okay. I've got the on. It's supposed to hold it for 15 seconds. Like 15, minutes. 15 seconds. 15 days. 15 days on his head. <laughs> 15 days. <laughs> 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 So it's not coming off on his own, but it's got a lot of hair. Quit rubbing it, put the thing on the tick and leave it there. <laughs> that soap has got to soak into him. So he we'll can see. And they can hold their breath for a long time. You can flush them at least five. Hee 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 hee. All right, let's take predictions. Mama, is this cotton ball with, with hand soap gonna work? Yeah. Cotton ball hand soap gonna work? That might, might not. You gotta, uh oh, you gotta, you gotta pick. I picked the tick. <laughs> Listen, please. What do you think? You think it's gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> we gotta find out. I don't know either, to be honest. I want it to work. <laughs> Let's see here. So what what did your phone say? We don't look things up. We just they come out on the screen. I know you could just pull it out. I'm just trying something new. Trying to learn something here. See if it's gonna come out. Well, what do you think? I pull and look? <laughs> He's still in there. Pull him out. Let me pull him out. Yes. All right. I'll let Mama do it. She's got some nails. I do not have nails. <laughs> let me get the tweezers here. I'm gonna get the tweezers and jerk it out. We got the mighty tick out of his head. You are tick free, we think. You want to check the rest of your body? Look, he's still crawling around on Mama's finger. That's your little pet tick. Give with, him a name. With your scalp. Give him a name. Ticky. What's the scalp? That's the skin. That's your skin right there. Give him a name. We can't see him like that, Mama. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. <laughs> what do you think about that? Cool. Yeah, it was cool. You had a tick in your head. <laughs> that was funny.
See how it's turned brown in there? But we didn't burn it. Now, here come a teach light diced tomato right there on top of it. And a lot of people say, well, where's your water? It's coming. Stand by. It's coming. The tomatoes have got a lot of liquid in them. They do a good job of soaking up that roux and making it thick. What you've got to remember, when you're making a gravy, you're making a roux, if you don't bring it back to a boil, it ain't never gonna thicken up like you want it to. A lot of people immediately turn their heat down. Well, you can if you got it hot enough and you were diligent enough, you like that big word, diligent, to make it like you want to. Look how that roux is doing. It's mixing in there with it. We're gonna bring it back to a boil and it's gonna thicken up and we're gonna have us uh, some fine, fine tomato gravy. We're gonna add a little bit more sugar. We like it to spread over our biscuit. All right, you can hurt yourself, buddy, when there's something slides on the floor like that. You fall and bust your head. Maybe you need to get hurt. I'm gonna get just a little water. Does this look smelling good? Yes. I'm going to add that to it, turn the heat up, and this is the part where we're going to make it thick. Take your time, don't slop it out the side, you'll have a stove top to clean up if you do that. Look right here. See how it's coming back to a boil? Because I just turned it up that little bit. And that's exactly what you want. We're going to keep stirring it. Well, we don't want it to stick and burn. I got a story I got to tell you. Boudreaux, he's sitting around and he's feeling kind of ill. And Marie come along and she said, you don't look like you feel so good. He said, I don't. So they got him to the emergency room. They put him in the hospital and he's bad sick. And they called Marie over to the bedside and he said, Marie, I want something to tell you. And she said, tell me, Boudreaux, what is it you want me to know? He said, do you remember when we first got married and I couldn't hardly get a job and we made do and you stayed there by my side? She said, I remember that. He said, later on, we had children, one of them, he turned bad, but you stayed right there by my side and we handled it, we made it through that. He said, she said, I remember that. He said, Marie, you remember? We, I lost my job. You didn't get mad at me, but you stayed right there with me the whole time. She said, yes, Boudreau, I know, a little tear in her eye. He said, then we lost our house. We had the old pick-em-up truck. We went on down the road. We met a new life. You stayed right there with me. 
She said, that's right, Boudreau. I stay right there with you. He said, Marie, come here. I want to tell you something. You know, I think you bad luck. <laughs> Now the tomato gravy is done. You can see it thickened up just like we want it to. Lots of tomato, the gravy just about now. Now if you want yours thicker, you add a little more flour to it. Don't add so much water, whatever it takes. You just have to try and experiment with it and get it the, the way you want it. This is about how we like ours. It spreads across that biscuit. It mixes in with the taters or the grits, whichever you prefer. And that, my friend, is one of the finest breakfast meals you can have, tomato gravy. And for dinner, you can serve it over rice. The dots are good. All right, Mama's going to skim with the eggs. Hey, y'all got a good food ready. Take some of them tomatoes, please. Oh, yeah, please. You can take some green ones and some red ones. that don't make you happy, something's wrong with you. All right, JT's gonna try the biscuit oh. gravy. Go ahead, buddy. Tell what you think. Cutting off a piece. Low one a little bit, low one. What does it taste like? It tastes like my favorite Cajun food ever, bacon. <laughs> it's good. Oh yeah. You did a good job. We're gonna eat this meal up. Thanks. Thank you, Papa. Mama's got hers going. Oh yeah. Welcome to the Bama Cajun Kitchen. See you on the next adventure. What do y'all think about leaving? I don't like it either, but gotta go see some new places, new adventures. Thanks for watching.